What's up, y'all? Happy Saturday. So I know y'all heard, if y'all didn't hear, um, Jack has got kicked out of where she was living. Okay? All right. Then got kicked out of the place. Um, of course, she had to take somebody with her. You know, she got a co-defendant on the run with her, um, whoever that person is. I mean, Jack got a junky mentality. I mean, the, it's like so you all effed up. You you all effed up in the head. At this point, I don't even think medication will help her at all. Man, she's fighting it. Like, she's just literally fighting it. She's fighting it. Remember in the last video, I said, yeah, Jack is already setting her way. She almost 50 years old. Um, Yeah, can't nobody tell her nothing. Yeah, can't nobody tell her nothing at all. People like Jack, who who has this uh, narcissistic, um, I mean, she fits the description to the T when it comes to that. They are, when you hear stuff about them or you listen to them, it kind of gets you pissed off because you like, you listening to them or you hearing this and you're like, you... You textbook, a textbook narcissist. Like you get attitude with these type of people because you're like, you're not. Are you really not getting this? Like, are you really not seeing what other people are? I mean, damn, you make just make you want to, you know, take something and knock them upside the damn head just to knock some sense into them because this is ridiculous. Now again, we already knew this would happen, right? <clears throat> but here's Jack going in there. I mean, um, being Jack, thinking she know how to run whatever they running already. They already got, they been in business. They, they've been doing their thing. They, they, she coming to live there. You, then you coming to live here, trying to set yourself apart, make yourself look bad. That's like a motherfucker going to jail, right? And acting like they better than everybody else in damn jail and shit. You in here with everybody else. What is you doing? You in the sober living acting like you better than everybody else. I mean, like, it ain't got, ain't got shit. Nothing. That didn't even humble her. That didn't even humble her. You would think that uh, all these things that's been taken away from you or you lost, right, uh, would kind of trigger something in your mind to kind of get you to calm down and wake up uh, and, you know, snap into some a little bit, a sprinkle of fucking reality. But yet, that it's still, it ain't working. It ain't nothing. At this point, nothing's going to going to work we we, we would have thought that okay this is it she is you know maybe you know okay she ain't got nothing this that maybe maybe something will spark something in her and she will try to get it together okay no jack get kicked out then calls the police on the director or the manager of the house she did that in my mind i feel like she called the police because she felt that was her get out of jail free card. She want to use that. She want to have that in her back pocket as her excuse as to why she left. Well, they kicked me out. Yeah. And she, the lady threatened me. I, I called the police and yeah, yeah. She thinking that she going to be able to go before a judge and explain this stupid ass excuse. Right. And thinking the judge going to say, oh, okay. All right. She did. Oh, she threatened you and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. So where are you going to go now? Like, did you find another? As if the jet. Mm. And Jack. Mm, mm, mm. You called the police. Yeah. Because you want to be able to use that as your excuse. Do I believe that the lady threatened her? I don't believe that the lady threatened her at all. Maybe threatened to kick her ass out. Other than that, I don't think the lady threatened her. Okay. All right. We know who do the threatening. Yeah, we done seen it so many times. We know who do the threatening. Yeah, okay, all right. And I don't believe it was a damn lady, okay? And Jack lied so much and, and tried to play victim so much to where, yeah, it's like crying wolf. When If the lady did threaten you, ain't nobody finna believe that. Yeah, at all. 
Ain't nobody finna believe it because we already know you. Okay? All right? So you get kicked off. So now you running around in Texas. What you gonna try to do? Go live with the, with the co-defendant that you on the run with? With her family or something like that? Y'all gonna stay in their garage or, you know, in the living room? You gonna try to go, huh? I mean, and Jag didn't think about this before she... Jag going to a meeting, you know what I'm saying, in the sober living, Sean David Way saying, talking about the director over the program. And we supposed to believe everything that Jag get out here and said about people. When she do this with every motherfucking guy. She do this in every situation there is that she's involved in with everybody. I'm shocked. Listen, I'm shocked that she haven't uh, turned on on. on on King Payne and Sean David Way yet publicly. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised. She probably, she haven't because maybe she still, you know, need to use them and that's her only, you know, means of getting some resources, you know, and maybe she just really want to, but no, she can't. And if she has some type of, you know, restraint when it comes to that, you know what I'm saying? As far as like, oh, I really want to just, you know, go off on them, but I'm not because, you know, I know I need them to call them. They're going to give me this, that, and the other. If you got that much restraint to, to, to control yourself when it comes to that, if that is the case, then you need to use that even in any other damn situation. Why you didn't use that in the situation of getting kicked out? Let me not say this or that. Let me, uh, you know, let me keep my composure. It's some things I see here that ain't right, but I ain't got nowhere to go. So let me just go on and ride this out. Then I heard that she owed the lady, I guess, a little rent and then didn't want to even pay the lady the rent, just like her apartment that she got kicked out of. Jack, you can't. I mean, who just get kicked out of everywhere they go? She the type. If they can kick your ass up out of jail, you know what I'm saying? If they had the right to do they would kick her out of jail when she in there. They would kick her ass up out of jail, but they can't do that. Okay. That's why she probably got knocked upside the head a couple of times. Talking about they was roughing her up. And that's why. Yeah, because they sick of your ass. Anybody would. It, it, it gets to a point to where, you know, and you kind of feel sorry for a person in the beginning. It's like, damn, you know, she going through. This. But then after a while, it's like, girl, you a grown ass damn woman. Like, ain't nobody finna be feeling sorry for you. Whatever you getting, it, you getting it because you getting it. Ain't nobody finna be feeling sorry for you. I know I'm not. Shit. The hell? The lady needed to put your ass out. Now, what you finna do? I'm listening to this shit like, okay, we knew this was gonna happen, but damn. Do we think that Jag gonna go, go to her court dates now? Hmm? Do we think that Jag is going to remember her court dates? Do we think that Jag is going to still abide by those bond conditions? Do we think that Jag is going to go and say, you know what, why she homeless? I need to go and, you know what I'm saying, go and take the drug test. Because she has to get drug tested, it says, on her bond conditions, right? She needs to report to the court anytime she has a change in address and employment, right? No threatening, no um, no, no contacting the 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 the, the uh, victim. And do we think? Do we really think that Jack right is about to continuously abide by that? Hmm. Huh? So now they have found these people. So that's like, you know, you looking out for somebody, right? And you may have, you know, I'm not sure if. Sean David Way or King Payne kind of knew them or someone that they knew knew this lady as this sober living to let her come there to live there, whatever, right? Okay. But <clears throat> if that is the case, this is why you got to be real careful with getting people involved with something that you know is skeptical. That's like somebody saying, you know what, I, my friend need a job and you've been in your job for 20 plus years. And you know your word is good. You good in your career. You know everybody, human resources, you cool with them. And that they will take your word for it. Like, oh, okay, you know, you're a good employee. We know who you are, you know, and you have a friend who needs a job because we're hiring. Okay, well, you know, it'll be a little bit easier for that friend to get through them doors by word of mouth, right? And then your friend, you getting them this job. And then the next week they coming in late, they calling off probation, not even motherfucking over what? Yeah. 
Okay. All right. They getting rolled up within the first damn week and shit. They, uh, yeah, coming in late. They not. I mean, it, this going to fall back on you. This got you looking sometimes. You the one who told me, can I help them? I mean, like, what are you doing? So you think that they going to listen to me the next time if I say, hey, I got another friend who want a job. Can you help them out? They ain't going to be like the last one. Now, I hope they didn't know this lady, or, you know, or knew someone or knew of her to, to send her there because it's like that got y'all looking some type of way now. That got y'all looking. Y'all knew Jag. Y'all know how Jag is. Y'all know how she is. Y'all knew her ass wasn't finna stay in there too long. Jag can't live with no damn body. Jag think that she better than every fucking body. Okay? She thinks she's smarter than everybody. She thinks she know more than everybody. She thinks she, yeah, untouchable. She, yeah. But ain't got no place to live, no car, no cell phone, calling um, bloggers who younger than her to send her money, uh, talking to them and needing their help and assistance. But yet you getting out here thinking, yeah, that you just mm -hmm, know every motherfucking thing. Know everything. You know more than a lawyer. You know more than a teacher. You know more than a fucking counselor. If Jag go to therapy, Jag will be in the therapy session trying to um, be a therapist to the therapist. I mean, like, this is the type of person that she is. Okay? Jag go to church. Jag get up and try to act like she the pastor. Okay? All right? Jack just want like what are you doing you in jail and you trying to tell the officers how to do their job and what they need to be doing you know what I'm saying like who does that what is wrong with her she irritating at this fucking point like damn you just don't get it what is wrong mm 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 and I want to know where's the money at the, the GoFundMe, right? I want to know where, where the GoFundMe, did that money go to Jag? Was that, um, cause I remember them saying like they, they use they money, um, and that GoFundMe money will be kind of like a payback. So they going to use the GoFundMe money to pay themselves back for using their money because, Sean said in the video, you know, a couple of days ago or whatever, that you know, when, when Jack first got out, you know, that, yeah, that they had used, you know, said that we use our own money. I took my own money out of there because um, it take it take a minute, you know, for the GoFundMe to hit the account or something along those lines, something similar to that. And so he made it seem. And not only that, he even stated that. um her attorney bonded her out. That was, he said this, that was so nice of her attorney to bail her out. It's just things that he was saying that just wasn't making sense at all. Like someone said, how can an attorney bail you out? That you, you can't even attorney, like someone said too, like that's illegal. You're like, yeah, they can't do that because you can't even have an attorney on a case that you know, because it's a conflict of, of I think, interest or whatever. You can't, if you get into some trouble and you have a family friend who an attorney, they are not about to let them be the attorney. The attorney can't know you or do anything like that. So why would he say that? Like, why would he lie and, and, and say that? I don't know. To the, I, I'm kind of confused when it comes to that too. But with the GoFundMe money, I'm wondering. I'm, I'm wondering. Do she uh, really expect that money to be sent to her? You know, is she going to be calling King Payne? You know, or texting him saying, you know, that y'all said y'all, you know, uh, raise this money for me. I need it now, right? So can you can you send what's up with that GoFundMe money? Do she do she really think that that's hers now? I mean, like I want to know how that is about to work out. I mean, because we ain't heard nothing about the GoFundMe yet. Cause she really gonna need it now. And Sean Day Ray says she's in there borrowing money from the girls. I mean, she in the sober living panhandling. I mean, damn, it don't get no worse than that. I mean, Jack, you doing like this shit crazy. It's crazy. I have never in my life seen someone like her. Now, I know it's a lot of people in the world who, who are, but I've just never experienced anybody who who has the per has that similar personality to as Jack. Like, what are you doing? And you just on the bus and shit. You can't afford a Uber. 
So you just standing at the bus stop. I mean, like, and then you ain't got no clothes. Sean Dayway said she only had like two outfits. So the director of the of the Soul Berlin was that damn bad to where you just said you just you just want to go. And knowing damn well you ain't got nowhere to go. So it's just that bad. Huh? I say, you know what? This shit crazy, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Calling the damn police on the lid. I mean, <clears throat> and then it, it, it could be a flip side to it, right? She probably called the police. Yeah. To think that, oh, if I call the police, then, uh, you know, the lady ain't got to kick me out. Yeah. If I call it because the police know, you know, that I can't, you know, that I'm on bond. So maybe the police uh, 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 let me stay, you know. And then if she is on bond. Oh, no, because that wouldn't hit the system just yet because the court would have to be notified. Because I was going to say, when she called the police and they ran her name, um, they didn't see that. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't see that. I, like, what the hell? But it's not in their system yet. So I guess once it hit their system, if she don't go and, you know, report to them these changes or whatever, then I think, or not show up to court, then I believe that's probably when the warrant will be put out for her arrest. She need to just go on, um, yeah, she need to just go on in there, uh, maybe try to do, what's she going to do? She ain't too much you can do. Uh, you might as well just go back to jail since you ain't got nowhere else to go. Yeah, you might as well just go turn yourself in so you can have somewhere to go. Where you going to live outside? You ain't got no money for no motel, hotel. What you going to do? Even the lady she was with, they said, got kicked out with her ass. Got kicked out with her. We are, I, I can understand that too. Jag going to want to pull somebody with her ass. Yes, she gonna want to pull somebody with her in a mess. She been we seen that her do that several times online. She wants somebody. Goomba was the one who was always there, you know, with her getting kicked out, being homeless with her, hungry with her, helpless with her, hopeless with her. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. So now she got somebody else to tag along with her ass, and they must be slow than a motherfucker to even just be tagging along with her ass. I mean, damn. And it got to be something. Either she with the girl just to have as company so she don't be by herself. Or the girl, uh, whoever she with, may have uh, some sort of money. Because the girl got a phone. Mm, so I remember that. So they said that the person she was with had a phone because they went live after they got kicked out on the girl's phone on YouTube. I couldn't find no video of that. But yeah. So Jag, yeah, I'm just going to say... The girl had to have something in order for Jag to just want to, you know, tag her along or whatever and, and want her, you know, you just dragging this damn girl along with your ass just because she got a fucking phone. You ain't what you need. And then you need the phone for what? So you ain't got nobody to call that for them to let you come live at their place. Then you you expect somebody to let you come live at their place. Right. With her. I mean, like, so, you now, like you was doing with Legina and shit. Huh? You wanted to tag Legina along with you, even when you was homeless. Legina had to say, no, I'm not trying to be homeless with you. Remember, we was like, why is Legina still with Jaguar and she see Jaguar homeless and shit? Like, that just don't look right. Like, why is Legina still there and shit? I mean, like, what the hell? I could be homeless by my damn self. I ain't finna be fucking sitting there tagging along with your ass. Like, I'm some, like them dogs that the homeless people be walking around with. Yeah, I'm not about to be tagging along with your ass uh, while you homeless. At all. So now Jag got this person with her. What's she going to do? So now Jag just tagging along with her ass just because she got a damn phone. If the girl got a phone, I'm pretty sure she got access to other things as well. Now Jag asked, could have got her a phone. Jag could have got her a little phone. But Jag was spending her money on other shit. Spending her money on Sean David Grace on cigarettes and other shit. Cigarettes and something else, I forgot what he said. Probably the CBD. Well, hell, they drug tests. I don't know. I'm not sure how the CBD work. I don't smoke weed or anything, so I'm not sure if that shows up in your system uh, as well. But, I mean, this is crazy. And I want to know who was the inmate. Everybody's saying it was the inmate. I'm not sure if it was the inmate 
girlfriend that Jag was talking that everybody was talking about when you know it was a lot of YouTubers talking to the other girlfriend in jail I'm not sure if that's the same girl they talking about or some other girl that Jag just tagging along calling her best friend and shit Jag just making everybody her fucking best friend don't know him from Adam and she gone I, whoever she would better not take them they better not take Jaguar advice at all yeah, no. They should be like, no, I need to go. I'm not finna get in trouble. I'm finna go to court. Yeah, I need to go to the court. I need to go and fill this out. I need to go and report this. You know, let me go and tell them so they don't put no warrant out for my... Don't let Jag try to convince you not to do it and, and go on the run with her ass. No. Mm. And Jag on the run with nowhere to run to. That's fucked up. That's the, Jag, you down bad. You down bad. I didn't even think that it can get any worse. But with Jack, it's possible. It could get worse. It could keep getting worse and worse and worse. And worse. I mean, damn. What the hell? Jack might as well just go turn herself in. Mm-hmm. Just go turn herself in. So now we curious as to where the hell she going now. Since it's been put out there that her ass got kicked out. Okay. Yeah, we nosy. We want to know where the fuck her ass going. She's sleeping on the streets, her and the girl. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, knowing Jack, she'd think, let's go to the gym and hang out there. We can go and take a shower. Jack and know how to survive and shit. Just being homeless and shit. Yeah. Who, how, I mean, who just uses all that energy just for going nowhere? You going nowhere fast. You using all this energy and anger and, and, and you using all of this emotions to just for nothing. I mean, damn, use it to gain something positive to for at least use it to move one foot, to move one foot forward. I mean, damn, just one little goal. Okay. Boom. This. So I'm going to use this to do this. Some, I mean, what you just using it just to fuck up your own damn, your own life more and more and more. I mean, it can get well, it could get, I was going to say, it can't get no worse than this, but no, no, no. When it comes to Jack, it can get worse than this. And Jack could just, and, and Jack doing the shit to her damn self. But in Jack mind, no, she not. The lady threatened her. Mm-hmm. They programmed wrong. They running it wrong. Um, They doing illegal things in there. We won't be surprised if, if Jack get on here and talk about that, they were selling the goddamn fit no weed in the damn sober living place. Yeah, they had the fit no weed. If we hear that, then we know for sure she lying about Bobby. Yeah. Now all these other things are going to come out about this sober living now that you mad because you got kicked out. This is what Jack does. We know this. Then they said Jack was in the video doxing the lady, putting her, uh, you know what I'm saying, putting her uh, address out there, her name. And we know sober livings are confidential. You know, they when it comes to those, those are confidential. So Jack is on here doing like... And, th- and and you think that the lady is not about to report this to the court? I mean, re- the and the lady ain't scared of you apparently. If your ass sitting here talking about that, the lady threatened you and said she was gonna hit you. Okay, now, that sound more like that's what you said, and you flipping it, saying that she said it. Okay, all right, yeah, that's what that is. And, and Jaguar pumped up the other person she was with to get into it with them um, because, yeah, you can't sit here and tell me that, you know, they both felt this way. Everybody feel that way in the sober living about the director of the program. Yeah, we're all going to leave. We're marching out right now. We're going to have a we're going to have we're going to march with posters in front of the sober living. Yeah, because they're just doing us so wrong. Come on, man. No, Jack had to kind of add, you know, pump that girl up. And whoever she with, they got to be slow. They got to be. Got to be. And Jack using it to her advantage. Whoever this person. Jack done found her another victim like a Legina. Now that's... Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, Jack ass is crazy. You know. I, I I be like, you know, we be thinking, you know, damn, we be going through our little shit behind closed doors and, you know, behind the scenes. But when you see shit like this, man, I'm telling you, that should make you grateful. Like, damn, this, I'm doing great. I mean, damn, Jack, like, I would not. Who the F wants to be in Jack's situation or, or be like Jack, right? When they're her fucking age, when they're damn near 50 years old. 
You don't feel no type of way. Like I would feel some type of way asking somebody younger than me to help me out. And, you know, can you send me money for food? And what? Like I would be too embarrassed to do some shit like that. I would go hungry before I did some shit like that. Yeah, she ain't saying nothing with it. Hey, yeah, can you send me $40? Oh, Sean David, send me $40. Hey, Sean David, can you, I'm hungry. Can you send me that? Okay, you hungry? Why you won't go take your ass down to the fucking county building and go get you some food stamps? You could do that over the damn girl phone uh, to get you some damn little food stamps for yourself in a little GR. Oh, no, I forgot. Jack too good for that. Yeah, but you too good for that. But then you sitting here thinking it's okay to be asking uh, someone who's way younger than you and someone you have never even met and who on YouTube to help you out to eat? Hell no, my ass will be in that damn county line filling out the application for some food stamps. Rather than calling you, there are different ways you can go. She definitely can get some food stamps. And not only that, she definitely can go down there and get her some SSI. She can get, she on medication. She been in the psych ward so many times. I mean, they would even give her as back pay, uh, you know what I'm saying? For the social, uh, for the, so, for the SSI. They would give her back pay. Why she not think, she not thinking to do none of that. She just the type of motherfucker who just like, like them people on the corner holding a sign saying, just give, you got money. I'm hungry. When it's like, uh, okay, you feel sorry for some people, but then you'd be like, okay, there are so many things that you can do to make some money. You know what I mean? You could go to the gas station and, and hold that sign and say, I'll pump your gas for free. But if you would love to, you can tip me. Uh, you know, I could wipe your windows off. Why you won't go take that sign to the gas station and try to hustle your ass up some damn money? I, if your mind can come up with, let me go stand, uh, you know, at the freeway uh, exit ramp. Yeah, and hold up a sign and shit looking sad and shit. Yeah, looking dehydrated and hungry and shit. Yeah, then you could go to the uh, gas station across the street from the from the freeway exit ramp. Yeah, and go hold that sign right there and ask anybody, do they need their gas pump? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Do ask the, uh, the gas station, do y'all need me to go clean the bathroom for $10? I mean, you know, you need me to wipe your window. I mean, it's so many things that you can fucking do but no jackson on here just want to ask just give it to me just yeah give it to me i showed y'all the gofundme that she had uh before yeah showed you the gofundme that i found that she had before she she got two gofundmes one from 2016 people still in 2023 sending her money check the video if you haven't saw it and in that video i said so damn jag just the type of person who thinks that people giving her money is her job like they just supposed to just like how you get paid every damn two weeks they just think that she just think that yeah that's her job uh asking people and they're gonna pay me every two weeks like this a job check or something like that to be the i mean instead of taking your ass when you was in there the whole week to uh and you know another thing i want to know too y'all my mind going fast um is did she actually go to the dmv to get her her id did she actually go down to the dmv to get her id so believe me let you do things like that to go and take care of your little business Okay, there were so many different things that Jack could have taken care of up until this point. Why she was there in a sober fucking living? She could have she could have been doing certain things, taking care of. So I want to know: Did she go down there to do that to take care of her damn business? Why she sitting here so worried about a goddamn sober living director and shit? You should have been busy enough to not even know about the director, to not know shit that's going on with the director, what's going on in the house, because y'all ass should have been outside the damn house taking care of some fucking business and, and saying, you know what, I need to go do this, that, and the other and shit, you know, okay? Instead of y'all ass sitting up in the house cooking for everybody like Sean David Way said you was doing, trying to be the fucking leader and shit like you the fucking director of this fucking homeless uh, uh, sh uh, sober living. You should have been out there doing what the fuck you supposed to be doing. Sober living lady and director set for life. That's her business. Y'all ass ain't got no fucking business, Jack. So you should have stayed out of her fucking business to go outside and, and go and find some fucking business. Okay? Yeah, that's what you should have been doing. Okay? Why ain't nobody telling her ass that? Sean David Way, uh, yeah, she calling me. Sean, Sean David Way should have said, uh, you know, you can apply for the food stamps and stuff, Jack. Yeah, you can apply for the food stamps. They'll give you some little food stamps and stuff. And they'll give you a little GR check or whatever, you know, for yourself. Yeah, until you get on your feet. Okay. Hell, she could have been in there singing for them, giving them a little mini concert, right? Using her voice to her advantage, right? And them tipping her so that she wouldn't even have to ask them to borrow no fucking money. 
She could have been giving him a little show. You know what I mean? She could have been, uh, you know, using that to her advantage, telling him about the celebrities and what was going on in the industry. You know, people wouldn't hear that. Would have made it a whole lot more entertaining in there because it's probably boring in a sober living. Yeah, here come Jack. You know, uh, you have so many things her ass could have been. But she's sitting up in there so worried about goddamn uh, sober living director because she jealous of her. Yeah, because uh, the f fucking uh, director probably younger than Jack. You know, her little shit. Yeah, Jack probably jealous and shit. Mm -hmm. So worried about that stupid ass shit to where now you're not even focused. Excuse me. You're not even focused on yourself and what you need to be doing. Video direct. When you lead the, the the sober living director and the owner, it's fun to still be the owner, still fun to run her business. She's still gonna be making her money, still gonna be riding around her nice car. Yeah, still gonna be living her life. Okay, all right. But you, Jack, you're not. Yeah, you're not. So now Jack out and about. No one knows where the fuck she at. I'm nosy. I want to know where the fuck she at um, and what she doing. Yes, I want her ass to go lie because I'm nosy in the motherfucker. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. And I want, uh, yeah, I just, look, y'all. Hmm. I want to. Yeah, I want her. I don't know why they not letting her ass get online. Yeah, no, we want her to get online. That's what we want to hear. Okay. And all this, oh, why you want to get online? That's so wrong. Why you want her to get out here and humiliate her? Humi let her get out here and fucking, that's what she want to do. What the fuck? Shit. That's what she, that she choosing to do that if she choose to do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm not finna sit here and close my eyes. Yeah. Or close my ears and put some earphones over my, no, I'm finna be listening to this shit, looking at her like, you's a dumbass bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not putting her down. That's telling her the fucking truth. There's a big difference. Yeah. Okay. All right. But I just done named several things Jack could have been doing right within that week that they should have been telling her to go fucking do instead of just sitting there sending her money, sending her cash out, sending her. And you expect her to go. You expect her to just go and actually try to think to go and do something when you making it easy for her just by saying she can settle and she can survive with the little money you giving her. She ain't going to want no more than that. OK. Yeah. She'll settle for a little. All right. But if she ain't got shit at all, then yeah, she going to get hungry enough to go and take her ass down there to think about getting some fucking food stamps so she can eat. Okay. All right. But when you just keep giving it to her, giving it to her, giving it, she all right with that. Yeah. As long as I can give me some cigarettes, I'm going to cook this, that. Then she lying, asking for money from Sean David Wade, talking about she hungry. Yet she not hungry. Her ass sitting there going to go buy cigarettes, he said, and some other shit. I mean, damn, Jack. Like, uh -uh. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all tell me. I got so many damn questions. Y'all got so many damn questions. Okay. All right. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. All right. 